More than 500 missing and murdered children in this country remain unidentified and unaccounted for. Many of their families without answers for decades. Investigator Sarah Goldberg continues to shine a light on their stories in our series Unidentified. She gives us an inside look at how a powerful DNA lab is fighting the problem one case at a time. Imagine solving cold cases not just every day, but every hour. That's not a dream, but a reality at Othram, a powerful DNA lab in the Houston area that solved some of the biggest unsolved cases in the country. Solving one case here or there is useful, but it isn't going to change criminal justice. Being able to solve every case that has DNA out there is going to change that infrastructure. It is going to allow people to realize that they're not going to get away with murder anymore. Dr. Kristen Middleman is the chief development officer at Othram. They identify victims and suspects from crime scenes when traditional DNA methods fail. Using DNA evidence, they say others couldn't work with. Trace amounts of DNA, DNA that has been exposed to explosions or burned, burned remains maybe, put in a sewage tank so the contamination is really huge, thrown at the bottom of a lake for decades, floated in an ocean for 100 years, you name it, we probably worked with it at this point. They start with forensics in the lab and then use software they built that uses DNA, ancestry, and AI to make identifications with investigative genetic genealogy. Othram has announced 600 case solved so far, and Middleman says that's only about one tenth of the cases they've solved. <laughs> Here in Northern Ohio, Othram recently helped solve the case of Toledo Jane Doe, a story we covered in our series Unidentified. Someone found the teenager with a bag over her head and set on fire back in an alley in 1987. Nearly 40 years later, Othram identified her as 18-year-old Tammy Lowe, who went missing from the Detroit area. Everyone deserves justice. Every case deserves the same chance to get an answer, to get solved. And we shouldn't live in a world where there are unidentified remains. Now Othram has made it their mission to identify more than 500 children in Project 525, partnering with NamUs, the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System. The free, publicly accessible database established by the U.S. Department of Justice helps match missing persons to unidentified identified remains cases. Othram scientists are working on 525 cases of unidentified children listed in NamUs thanks to private donations and crowdfunding. But all of them are voiceless until they get their identity back. You can't solve a crime if you don't know who the victim is. How do you figure out what happened the last few days of their life, the last few hours? Middleman has seen law enforcement work on cold cases for decades, leading nowhere because they don't have the technology to move forward. Othram's goal is to give them that clue that finally helps solve the case. We are giving these children the ability to get buried in a way that they should be with their families and also um, get justice. If you're wondering how you can help solve cold cases, Middleman encourages you to share the stories of cases they've solved so police become more aware this technology exists. You can also donate to DNA Solves run by Othram to identify John and Jane Doe's. And you can upload your DNA profile to DNA Solves and Family Tree DNA, databases that allow law enforcement searches to solve these cases. Sarah Goldenberg, 19 News. Now, Othram has announced they've helped solve nine cases as part of Project 525. So far, they haven't announced they're working on any of these cases here in Ohio, but they are working on other unsolved cases in our state.